Hello. Hello. I'm afraid to say that Emma Watson is still not Lara Croft. One day. She she will never walk. <laughs> One day. Unless she gets a boob job. No, she'll never be Lara Croft, I know this. <laughs> it's just something, something you've got to get to terms with, really. Oh, I've got a cowbell. Then again, there has been hints to suggest that, um... That, um, Daisy Ridley would make a good Lara Croft, but and she's yeah. not really got much going on in the, uh... When you assets. think about it, the, uh, the latest one doesn't, but the newest one in the, in the game Well, no, but she's still... No, she hasn't got the unrealistic figure proportions, which, um... Lara Croft definitely does have. Um... So, I mean, you know, even Angelina Jolie didn't have that figure. Yeah. Because they were ridiculous, the, the kind of waist size versus the boob size and everything else. As much as, you know, we all were masturbating playing Tomb Raider. Um, were we? Weren't we? Not sure I, like, I, oh, hello. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, that's a, a great immediate distraction from what I was talking about. Look at the Taco Bell signs coming soon. <laughs> absolutely nothing out of the ordinary is going on. I'm simply getting ready for the grand opening of a new Taco Bell. With armed p police behind them. New Taco Bell opening soon. Very big Taco Bell. It's going to open in a few weeks. Thank you. Uh, will this Taco Bell be serving in Chiritos? What? <laughs> <laughs> new Taco Bell or is this going to be one of those Taco Bell KFC combos? We got a guy out here asking a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. Just stick to the script as laid out in the protocol. But he wants to know if the Taco Bell will have Inchiritos or not, sir. Damn it, we don't have a contingency for that. <laughs> Isolate and neutralize the threat. Yes, sir. Oh but my this god. Is question, if this is going to be a huge Taco Bell, will it serve Inchiritos? I think we have a right to know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Folks, we know you're all very excited, but for your safety, we ask you some... Oh, my God! <laughs> Mark? I, I looted him. I looted Mark. Sweetie? Sweetie? And his idiot Sorry, girlfriend, but it seems good. Nobody allowed pass. Check back in a few weeks. Thank you. Okay. That's for Layla. Um... But yeah, on that topic of what I was talking about earlier, about trying to talk about what makes a zombie, like for my video or whatever point I make it. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You know, I was following a list, which is still on uh, IMDb, so 25 highest grossing zombie movies. And I don't necessarily agree with this list, I mean, but... Um, I wish I had some friends. It'd be good to go for it. Um, so, Army of Darkness, 1992, I can agree with that, you know, they are... Zombie-like creatures. Have you seen Army of Darkness? Obviously, I don't think I have. No. Uh, the third Evil Dead film. I don't think I've seen any. No, like I've think... seen parts of most of them. But I don't think I've seen all oh, okay. of any. So, um, domestic total gross was over eleven million dollars. Okay. Um, the next one is Life Force, which I haven't seen. Um, which is um, which also grossed about over eleven million dollars. So I can't really comment too much on that. Next one is Shaun the Dead, which is um, nice to hear, but it, uh, it grossed over $13 million, which you'd think would be more, seeing as much a, of a ma massive cult success it was. Um, the next one was Prince of Darkness, made in 1987, which well, sounds like, I thought was, was sounds like a vampire film, but um, mm. uh, which oh, grossed $14 million. Dollars. Um I killed a cow. Next one was Return of the Living Dead, and I don't know even know much about Return of the Living Dead, but it was made by Dan O'Bannon, um, who wrote the original script for Alien, um, but it was significantly changed by Ridley Scott when okay. making the film, because the original script was poor, and he wasn't exactly known for making particularly great scripts. But that grossed fourteen million. Uh, next one was. Night of the Comet, which I'm yet to... I, I didn't even hear... I, I'll be honest, I never even heard of before I played, you know, went through this list. But that grossed over 14 million. 
Next one was Pet Cemetery 2, which I'm, I'm ashamed what? to say I've never seen either Pet Cemetery 1 or 2. Um, next was Serpent and the Rainbow, uh, which I've not seen or heard of. Uh, next was Land of the Dead, which I have heard of. Um, that was part of the Romero series, which is good to hear because I do. I am a massive Jaws. I'm going to be fan. honest with you. I've heard of hardly any of these. You never heard of Land of the Dead? No. It was the fourth in uh, the zombie series by George A. Romero, following Day of the Dead. Have you heard? Uh, next was uh, Creep Show, which was the. Um, wasn't it? I think it was the combined efforts of George A. Romero and Stephen King. No. Um, you ever heard of it? No, I've not seen it, but I. Uh, um, embarrassing to have seen it, but it is a cult classic. Uh, next, which to my frustration, 28 weeks later, which grossed $28 million, um, which I still wouldn't class as a zombie film. Uh, next, Resident Evil, grossing $40 million. And we all know the story of Resident Evil now we've thought about that. The next up was Resident Evil Retribution, if we talked properly. Uh, 42 million. Next up, 28 days later. $45 million. Uh, next, Resident Evil... Uh, Are you going through the whole list? Yeah. Why? <laughs> I felt like it. Uh, Resident Evil Extinction. Uh, next up, Resident Evil again with Resident Evil Apocalypse. Then Paranorman, which I thought was quite impressive. No, nope, never heard of it. You never no, heard I've, of Paranorman? Nope. Paranorman's pretty good. It's quite entertaining. Um, How many are left of these? I don't know, but I seem to manage the actual information. Oh, there. Pet Cemetery. Um, Death Becomes Her is not a zombie film. Never heard of that. No, that's a great film. Uh, Dawn the Dead remake. Oh, dude, we're at the halfway point. Oh, good. Resident Evil Afterlife, Warm Bodies, which is shit as fuck, uh, Zombieland, Hotel Transylvania, no, never even heard of that, the Adam Sandler film, fuck me, and the number one, World War Z, or Z, however you want to pronounce it. I've never heard of that one either. Oh, fuck you, you've never heard of World War Z? No, I'm glad I have heard of that one, and the book. Okay, I thought you'd be an arsehole then. No, I was only playing on the last one, but all the other ones I have. You've never had. even heard of How Tall Transylvania? No. Bloody hell. Probably for the best, really. Yeah? Yeah. It's not great. It's alright for kids. But it's certainly not a fucking zombie film. Oh, cool. I've unlocked two extra people. You know what every good bot should have? A flute. If I had a flute, I could play fantastic melodies. If oh, I cool. only had a Facebook says the ranger might be selling one. You know where the range is? I'd love to see if I could buy that flute. Oh, there's your Jimmy quest. Yep. All is lost. My contacts, my maps, my friends list, all taken from me by the shield. And his Shelly quest. She has no soul. Oh, we have to beat up his uh, sister. Perhaps you are one to be trusted. Very well. Let us end this. What's that? I'm wondering where my phone has gone. The she ogre. Our king may trust you, but that doesn't mean I have to. Okay, don't add me as a friend then. Talk to Rancher Beal. So, what question you go for first, eh? 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 I actually don't know. Isn't his name Dog Poo or something? I have no idea. Yeah, right there, Dog Poo. <laughs> oh, I didn't even hear his quest. Uh, I guess the closest one would be Stan's one, wouldn't it? Just go to his house and beat up his sister. I completed the Timmy Express. Any ally of the Elf King is an ally of Who the fuck is Jason? Um, that guy right there. Elf Blade. Well, you got the cash ready for any of them, so. Whatever you fancy. Hmm. What we got here? Minstrel. 
menstrual gloves, sensual to the touch. <laughs> These are weird. Fucking hell. Yeah, that's mine. He's turn. Oh my bam, god. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. Bam, bam. Bam, bam, I just bam. spent a fuck ton of money, Rich. You did. You look like you want to go to sleep. Don't we all? Oh, I forgot to. So I'm an Indian pro. I'm gonna quit. And equip the longbow. You do, you do sort of like when I've looked through some of our previous let's plays, you do sort of detect the tiredness as it goes on. Like things just get quieter and more just shit talk. <laughs> yeah, well, you know that's that's just tiredness setting in. Like it happens to all, like everyone. I know, I know, it's natural for that to happen. It's just it's uh, kind of funny when you sort of detect it, playing it back. Obviously, you don't, you can't really tell. Just by watching the let's play, you just sort of hear it in our voices. So going, oh yeah, look. Oh, it says dick or something. That's funny. But Rich, that's that's hilarious. <laughs> I know. I'd be tempted to call Dan right now, but I think that'd be a bit bean. Let's do it anyway. <laughs> I think he would literally he fucking uh, like slaughter us. <laughs> I don't think he's got it in him, but I'm pretty sure he'd suffocate us with his mammoth beard. Yeah, probably. Yeah. You're not calling him. I might text him. That's alright, I can live with that. I think I'm knocking the mic, but oh well. Oh, he's not read my last text, so... Who's up the top here? Um... I don't know. Oh! So you end up sort of joining Carl's team regardless of choice. Uh, you, you eventually get asked to make a choice. Then... Well, yeah, yeah but then you choose Carmen's team anyway? Uh, I will... Oh, we've not really been paying attention. <laughs> I, I will be. Um... Oh, that's true, because there's another battle at the school, isn't there? Yep. Yeah. I've got my first ice elemental damage. So when when are you going to have to fight Man Bear Pig? Um, whenever I make my way down to the sewers, which I can do now. I'm pretty sure you have to go back to his... Um... His little storage room and fight him there. I've been there and he's told me to go down to the sewers. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess that's cool. Yep, just just rob the underpants. Fuck you, guitar hero. You are a fag. <laughs> I think I found a clue. I guess that's a raging clue right now. What episode was that from? That was from the 9-11 episode. Oh, Jesus, yeah. What are these changes, VHS? <sighs> Canadian adoption papers! Um, Barbarian wig. Uh, and let's just go rob his toilet quick. Yeah, why not? Because I'm that nice of a person. Oh, acne. acne. Scrote. <laughs> Soap and a rope. It's the Hanky construction set. Oh, shit, that's a point. I can go down and get Mr. Hanky in the sewers now. Mr. Hanky, the Christmas poo. He loves me yeah, and he right. loves you. You Sit can beat his son who's got a peanut comes. in his head. Uh, 
Wow! What the fuck was that? Just got you a quest. We just got an achievement, and we completed an episode. Well, fuck me sideways. See you guys next time on Bye, this everyone. stuff and things, whatever it is we're playing. How many more do you want to do? I don't know. How many more do you want to do? Have you stopped recording? No. Bye. Well, that sure was something. I don't know what it was, but hey, you must have liked it. So why not hit like and subscribe and hit the notification button so you'll find out every time we upload new content. You can find even more of our stuff on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And don't forget Twitch and Mixer where we stream live. You'll find all the links below. See you guys next time.